Welcome to IC Market. You are watching weekly market overview. Let's start. The previous week, the British pound outperformed all of its major counterparties. The sterling against the US dollar jumped by a 2.08% to 1.6748, the highest since November 2009. Next, the Australian dollar continued the upside for another week, rising by 1.02%, followed by Japanese yen bouncing up by 0.82% against the US dollar. The Swiss franc and the euro increased by 0.77% and 0.54% respectively. Lastly, the Canadian dollar also rose versus the US dollar by 0.51%. The major currencies were benefited by US dollar's weakness the previous week after worse than projected employment data for January. The US dollar index dropped by 0.76%. The best performing currency, the British pound, was well supported the previous week by Bank of England forecasts for higher growth. The central bank revised uh, its forecast to 0.9% from 0.7% GDP growth in the fourth quarter of 2013. In addition, the sterling exploited US dollar's weakness. Moreover, uh, the cable rose to a more than 4-year high by overpassing major resistance at 1.6744. Nevertheless, some uh, concerns arise from the fact that technical indicators in a GBP USD chart like a stochastic are overbought. Therefore, we would be cautious in trading the cable. The Australian dollar advanced back to resistance at 0.9067 against the US dollar the previous week. The currency pair managed to maintain its upside bias for a second week despite weaker than anticipated employment. It should be reminded that Reserve Bank of Australia stated that key rates would be kept unchanged and that has limited bearish uh, potentials. The Japanese yen was also stronger against the dollar, uh, with uh, the USD JPY forex pair going as low as uh, 101.36. The Swiss franc and the euro outperformed the greenback as well uh, the previous week. On Friday, European countries' GDP growth data were stronger than market expectations. The Eurozone flash GDP increased by 0.3% in the fourth, uh, fourth quarter of 2013, while projections were at uh, 0.2%. The US dollar was weaker across the board the previous week. Initially, the greenback was steady before Janet Yellen's first testimony since her appointment as Federal Reserve Chairwoman. Janet stated that would keep a uh, key rate at zero level uh, even after the jobless rate goes lower than 6.5%, uh, 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 but asset tapering will continue. However, sluggish US retail sales and weaker jobless claims on Thursday, as well as lower than project, uh, projected industrial production on Friday, weighted on the dollar. The US dollar index remains in a 81.92 to 79.73 longer term trading range. Nevertheless, it has dropped a near lower boundary. Concerning coming events on Tuesday, Japanese monetary policy, UK CPI and German ZEW report release will be the major events. On Wednesday, we will be watching UK employment report as well as Bank of England meeting minutes. On Thursday, the most important events are PMI reports and US CPI data. Finally, on Friday, we will monitor UK retail sales, Canadian CPI and retail sales. Uh, it was weekly market overview by IFC Market. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us every Tuesday. Goodbye.